leading maritime lawyers. Our Houston, Texas maritime injury authorities have owned over 10 billion Houston maritime authorities. We serve injured maritime workers, NATO wide offices in Texas and Lucania. Just like any other industry, seamen are at risk for suffering work related injuries anytime they are on the clock. The courts recognize this and are countily working to protect injured seamen through general maritime law. Maritime law gives workers who have been injured offshore or in the maritime industry the chance to claim necessary compensation for any suffering of medical complication. The following acts are foundational to maritime law. Jones Act, Death on the High Seas Act, Limitation of Liberty Act, Longs Horman and Harbor Workers Combination Act. General maritime law is the basics for all injuries sustained by seamen. It is important to have a comprehensive understanding of the general law before delving into the subsequent acts. Case result. Check out our victories. Top 3 largest jury verdict in US history. Erland and Itkain LLP tried a repudial case against Johnson and Johnson for failing to warn about one of the drug's most demanding side effects. Our skill, hard work and dedication resulted in the third largest jury verdict ever obtained. They generally care. Their goal is to get what is due to their clients, to provide that better quality of life that is due to them, and to get them back to where they were before the accident happened. History of Admittedly and Maritime Law Maritime Law, also referred to as Admittedly Law, is nearly as old as the shipping industry itself and governs most accidents that occur on navigable waters. The law's roots can be thrust back to the unwritten customs of nautical behavior of the Egyptians and Greeks. However, the earliest formal codes were established around 900 BC on the Greek island of Rhodes.